Speaker of the Rivers House of Assembly, Eddie Sinei, has declared the seats of the lawmakers with defected vacant. On Monday, 27 lawmakers said to be loyal to yes on Wiki, the immediate past governor of the state, left the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the All Progressives Congress, APC. During plenary on Wednesday at the government house, following the early morning demolition of the assembly complex, with only lawmakers loyal to the governor in attendance, AA declared the seats of the defectors vacant. Let's listen. The motion to declare the seat of 25 defected members of the Universal Assembly vacant. This House received correspondence, notices and publications, including letters from 25 members of the Universal House of Assembly for their former defection from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress. And we have also confirmed this visually, including videos that were posted via media houses and including the social media. We are aware that it is the right members and every Nigerian regards freedom of association. Consequently, distinguished colleagues, the House having deliberated formally on the motion before it in line with our standing order and the Constitution of 1999 of the Federal Nigeria as amended, I hereby declare the seats of the following honorable members of the River State House of Assembly vacant. In an interesting twist to the ongoing political crisis in River State, the Martins Amewule led River State House of Assembly convened a sitting on Thursday, some 24 hours after Governor Similai Fubara led the demolition of the assembly complex on Moscow Road. The Amewule group held a plenary session at the auditorium of the assembly quarters on Aba Road, despite a restraining court order. The sitting by the Amewule group came just a day after the five-man group led by Edison Aye declared vacant 20, 27 seats of the lawmakers in the Amewule group for defecting from the PDP to the All Progressive Congress. Joining us is Barista Inibehe Efiung. Uh, Barista, Good evening this evening. Good evening. Uh, Barista, what would be your take to... Uh, hello? Yes, I'm with you. Uh, what would be your take to the unfolding melodrama, very saddening melodrama in, in uh, River State? It, it is quite unfortunate. But at the same time, uh, some of us are not surprised by the canary of shame that is taking place in River State. And that is essentially because we have uh, Wike who has assumed the status of an emperor and believes that everyone has to submit and bow before the throne of judgment. And then when you have a, a man who says he purchased nomination forms for all elective office holders in River State, including Fubara, the other assembly members, and even the national assembly members, that speaks to a man who is suffering from chronic God complex. He has assumed the position of a God in the politics of River State. That is why we cannot comprehend why his protege, uh, Fubara, will want to have an independent uh, political life or existence. So what is going on is, is just about 
greed and selfish interest. Fubara is also desperate to return the position. The Godfather is also desperate to remove him. I think that is what is going on. Okay. But in uh, the midst of all that, the law also must be respected, which is one that if the defecting law or former lawmakers, as it were, uh, had, had come to a decision that they can no longer remain on the in the party on whose platform they contested, the party that sponsored their election, the honorable thing is to resign. We came himself in the past, had stated clearly that one should not become from the party on whose platform one was elected to a different party. That was why when he was deprecating the then governor of Sambara State for the campaign from the PDP to the APC. But again, this is how our politicians are. They engage in double speak. They are hypocritical and uh, eternally dishonest. So I am submitting that ba those Barista, members uh, have been defected. They are deemed to have lost their seats. Their seats can be properly declared vacant. And that is what uh, Edison Ehi who is also laying claim to the position of speakership, partly on the basis of the interim order of the High Court of Viva State, seems to have given effect to. Oh, okay, uh, Barista, let me quickly go to your colleague, uh, Dr. Obani. Uh, Dr. Obani, are you there? Hello, Do Hello Dr. Obani. I'm here, are you seeing me? I'm here. Okay. Uh, Dr. Obani, uh, it is obvious that um, the Esparte uh, order gotten by one of the factions of the, uh, of the uh, Rivers Status of Assembly seem to uh, logically now have precipitated a situation where for a four-man member body sat to approve uh, a 800 billion naira plus uh, 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 budget uh, went ahead also, one could also uh, presume that it was the same order that must have given that that temerity to whoever instructed the demolition of the of the sanctuary of lawmaking in in River State. How would you respond to that, Doc? Uh, thank you for having me. I, I want to say that there are several uh, ex-party elders now that the parties are holding uh, tenaciously to. Uh, you remember that, that there was this is part of that that was initially obtained by the majority of the 27 members in Abuja, I think by Justice Omot Toshio, who restrained everyone that they put as a defendant from interfering uh, with their legislative function in uh, River State. Uh, the minority went to Federal High Court uh, somewhere in Potakot too and sought for an expert order. All their reliefs were denied, but the court uh, made a pronouncement that one and all parties should be put on notice. Uh, there was an order to that effect. But also, uh, some assaulted, you know, in the last uh, uh, statement by saying all parties who are uh, mentioned in this particular suit are to maintain uh, a status quo. Uh, and, uh, you know, they should remain where they were. Uh, that was the order that the, the last judge made uh, in Portacourt. But I, I don't think that that particular order was very satisfactory to the uh, minority members. So what they did was that they yesterday, yesterday they went back, I think, to a different court and now got a very substantive uh, order that now recognize uh, the five members as the proper authority to legislate uh, for river state uh, government or state. And then uh, they now compared. And from the story we heard, 
they now declare the, the seats of the 27 member or 25 members vacant, you know, based upon the fact that they defected. And the law is very clear as to the issue of defection anyway. It's only the members of the Legislative Assembly that the law allows to defect, that would have made pronouncement as to what should happen if they want to defect. For the executive, very silent, and any other political office would have very silent. But for lawmakers, the Constitution was very expressed that if you want to defect, fine, your seat will be declared vacant, except you can prove, except you can be able to uh, provide evidence that at the time of your defection, that there was what you call division within your political party under which you were elected. And so if you are not able to provide that evidence to show that there is sufficient evidence of a division, then, of course, your seat will be declared vacant. Now, these guys defected and cited, oh, that they were not able to have communication with the secretary of the party, or oh, there are cases that are pending both in Lagos and in Abuja concerning the leadership also in the secretariat and all that. And for that reason, they felt that there is enough crisis or division that would now warrant them defecting. And they were all singing and happy that they have defected and all that. But these people now got a court order, ex party, saying that they, they are now the legitimate house. And based upon that, they sat and then now declare the seat of the other majority members vacant. So what is playing out actually in, uh, in Rivers is something that we should not smile about. We should be really money as a nation because this is clearly very disgraceful, uh, very embarrassing, and, and not clearly, clearly in tandem with the wishes of the people who have elected these men, you know, to, and women to go and represent them and provide good governance, you know. And, they, and, and I'm so sad again that the courts is beginning now to be part of the entire process because the politician can rubbish any institution. And I'm so sad that the, the, the judiciary is being brought in now in such a manner that they are playing they are playing to the bid of the politicians. You know, I had thought that in such a very serious grave matter that the court would have asked all parties to be put on notice and let this matter be settled once and for all. This issue of ex party uh, applications and all that that the court is now giving to all of them and they are all holding tenaciously to it. We create more confusion and not all go well. You know, both for the judiciary and for the and for the country and for the state. So I'm so Dr. Obane, sad with that development. Yes, Dr. Obane, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, Doc, Doctor. Let me let me go to Barrister uh, Efion. Uh, Barrister, uh, 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 in the matters uh, appertaining rivers, one really has to be very careful, even the way one uh, uh, one asks questions. Uh, so I want to separate or compartmentalize the issues now. Let me take the issue of the demolition or the, the, kind, the optics of the demolition of the edifice that symbolizes the, an independent arm of government by another by agents of another arm whose principles whose principle could be said to be using the demolition to protect his own position how does that look to uh, somebody who is dispassionate who is not uh, who is not partisan how does that look to you Especially as as a, 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 a somebody of the law, it is it is a very responsible uh, development. I don't understand why the complex had to be demolished. Uh, if there are structural defects, I'm not sure that demolishing the uh, entire structure the way it has been done will solve the disagreement. Uh, I do not see any need for that. I do not subscribe to that. I do not support that. Uh, whatever the intention is, it is very suspicious. The timing is wrong. The optics is wrong. And I feel that uh, Fubara may have uh, gone too far. You do not uh, simply walk into the chambers of parliament and demolish it because you claim you want to carry out renovation. That is not even supposed to happen without the authorization of the assembly itself. Again, this is the kind of country we live in where lawlessness is the order of the day. 
where governors in Nigeria see themselves as demigods, as people who cannot be questioned. The truth of the matter remains that we do not have an independent legislature in the country. It is worse at the state level. All the houses of assembly in this country are essentially appendages of the governors. And that is the basis for what is happening in River State. Because Fubara wants to have control of the assembly, and then Gwisha also wants to control the assembly. So this is just about the interest, political interest of two individuals. Unfortunately, the people of River State will pay a price for it, and they are already paying a price for it. Doc, Dr. Obani, Dr. Obani, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, okay. I'm here, my brother. Doctor, 800 billion naira plus uh, budget approved less than 24 hours. Uh, apart from 800 billion naira plus budget approved less than 24 hours, we now have a situation where uh, a precedent has been set that if I am a governor in any state of the federation and a group of individuals who think because they are members of the status of assembly want to hold the position different from mine, the best I could do is either to go and remove the roof or go and crush the building. And uh, <laughs> I, I hope we're not inviting something untoward in this democratic experimentation if we are going in that direction. How would you respond to that, sir? Mm. I'm very surprised that uh, you are saying that this is a precedent. Uh, this is not a precedent. This is not. He has, the precedent has already been established before now. Uh, could you recollect what happened in the Dev State, you know, when uh, Adam Oshamed also was the governor? Remember what happened? I think he also used uh, uh, some similar style that had just been employed by his uh, by his brother governor in that uh, in demolishing even the status of us. This is not the first time. You remember Chimaroke and the uh, and uh, the governor that took that he took that uh, Chimaroke. Chimaroke when he became governor, his godfather was uh, Jim Wobodo. And Jimbo had majority of the members you know, you know, trying to impeach uh, Chimarok. Chimarok could um, show that uh, uh, he had a uh, few members in his uh, in his custody, and then uh, presented a budget also that was passed. Is you know uh, by that minority uh, minority, and he ran his uh, his state you know with them until he now regained a proper position of the political and defeated his godfather. So what is happening, sir? Let's start from the beginning. If we have a country that is actually functioning and where all the institutions are functioning well, some of the legalities you know, that is playing out you know, in our country will not happen. If we have a very strong judiciary, uh, very critical, and have a very strong uh, legislative assembly, very critical, all these illegalities that it seems fair because nobody is only a tree that, 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 that is aware that they are going to cut him and he, move, he stands there waiting for them to tomorrow. No. You have to take some measures in order to safeguard yourself. Uh, Amechi also did it. So this is not even the first time. Benga Daniel, was on. Benga Daniel also. Uh, so Benga uh, Daniel, you know. Uh, so they were all, it's, it's only a three. So, so what happened is that uh, if you have a fair, let me, let me finish, sir. If you have a fair legislative assembly that is very, very strong and all that knows what is right and wrong, they will, if any person bring any impeachable uh, grounds and all that, they will look at it and then before even they follow the entire process and then take it to the judiciary for the chief judge to constitute committee to look at it. But you don't have it. Those people will just call anything now impeachable offense. And before you know it, the man is gone. Even with a judiciary that will not in any way watch oh, okay. what is even the impeachable offense and all that. So the man will not wait and watch and he's, uh, he, he's been dethroned and been taken out. So what he's doing now is survival of the fittest. I'm not saying that what he's doing is the right thing, but we have a problem and we need to address those fundamental problems. We don't have institutions and we don't have fairness in the system. There is no employment of process of fairness in everything we do. And that's why what is happening now is power is looking uh, at Mr. Bani, we really have to go. The time is uh, quite against us. Uh, we want to say thank you to you uh, for the illumination you brought into this. Uh, Barista. Uh, Barista Efyong, Inibe Efyong, 
Uh, we also want to say thank you so much for uh, the sacrifice you have to make because it's like you were busy when we, we caught up with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.